The ancient Greeks thought memory was important, which makes me think that that's worth remembering. In Greek mythology, there were nine muses who were goddesses that created or represented, or you could say embodied, literature, science, and the arts. These nine muses varied in attributes. There was a muse of poetry, a muse of dance, a muse of astronomy, and so on. And they varied in superiority. For instance, Calliope was known as the most powerful or the most important of the nine. But here's the interesting thing. Superior to all of them was the mother of the muses. Her name was Mnemosyne, and she was the goddess of memory. To me, that's very telling, especially when I look around and see lots of problems caused by bad memory. I want to remember Mnemosyne. And I also want to remember Lethe. That's the name of a river that flows through the Greek underworld. It's known as the river of forgetfulness and oblivion from which dead souls drank. In Greek mythology, Lethe was also a person who represented forgetfulness. She was the daughter of strife, and her sisters were hardship, starvation, war, and murder. So to repeat, the person, or let's say goddess, who represented memory is associated with literature, science, and the arts. On the other side, the person or goddess who represented forgetfulness is associated with strife and hardship and murder and wars. The ancient Greeks thought memory was important. I think the fact that they placed so much value on memory is worth remembering.